So places you can add um, how to contact you into your LinkedIn profile. So number one, first of all, we'll go to your profile, click on your profile. And the first place is the contact info, which might be a no brainer. Uh, sounds like it is, but so many clients that I work with haven't filled this section in. So make sure that you have added in your contact information here. You can add in multiple websites. So for example, if you spend a lot of time over on Twitter, you could add in your Twitter account. And um, that's down at the bottom here. And um, also if you have a, a YouTube channel, you could add that in here as well, for example. Adding in your work mobile or your work phone and adding in your email so it's easy for people to contact you. However, the fact is that a lot of people will not actually notice that contact info button. So let's add it into your about section as well. So when we go down, oops, and we click on the about section, this is really your summary um, about how you can help people and what you do. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you will see that I have added in how to connect with me. So email, connect with me on LinkedIn, or the one here that is working really well for me, book your discovery call for people who want to take their LinkedIn training a little bit further and want to know how I can help them with that. So make sure that you make it easy for people to get in touch with you by adding your contact details on LinkedIn. You'll also notice that I have changed my cover photograph up here to um, promote my free training that's happening next week. Another place that you can use on LinkedIn to let, allow people a way to reach out with, to you, connect with you, find out more about what you do. I hope you find this useful. And if you do, um, I'd like to hear in the comments below how many times you're adding your contact information or have you thought about adding in your contact information into your about summary? Let me know below.